Hi everyone. Excuse the sunglasses, but the weather is beautiful and otherwise I would just be looking at you like this, which isn't very helpful. Um, I wanted to share two things with you today. First of all, the view. As I'm standing on a mountain summit and I know not many people get have ever had the opportunity to do so, so I thought I'd share a 360 degree view with you guys. This is what it looks like when you're standing on top of a mountain. Totally worth the effort of getting here, I promise you. The other thing that I want to share is my thoughts about backpacks. Uh, two kinds of backpacks, the physical ones and the mental ones. Let's start with the physical ones, because when you go on a hike, um, especially when you go into the mountains where the weather can change rather quickly, you always bring a backpack with um, some basic stuff in there. Now, let me see if I can, this is my backpack today. Not very big, not very heavy, because uh, it's only a day hike and a short one at that. Should the weather change, I will be down back to at my car and probably back home long before that. So the only things that I brought was something, a vest like I'm wearing right now, something to eat, something to drink, a first aid kit, a bivy sack, um, nice to lie on and uh, in case of emergency, good to have with you. Pocket knife, what else is in there? I brought a small pair of binoculars. Um, and that's about it, what I brought today. Oh, um, a hat, a fleece hat, a fleece, fleece gloves and um, a buff, should it get colder. So that's it. When you go on a multi-day trek, you obviously bring more. I obviously bring more. Then I'll bring a change of clothes. I'll bring um, food or snacks for multiple days. Um, I may stock up a bit more on water, although around here in these mountains there's plenty of it and lots of places you can actually just drink it. So that most of the time is not a problem. There have been times, especially in the, be in the beginning when I started hiking, that I just brought way too much, especially on... Um, multi-day treks and I was carrying a backpack that was way too heavy that was always uncomfortable it was pulling on my shoulders it was chafing my hips a couple of hours in my back would start hurting and I'd still have a couple of hours to go over time I learned what I actually had to bring and what I could leave home at home so now when I go into the mountains, it might still, it's the backpack is obviously heavier than it would be for a day hike, but not as heavy as it was when I started doing multiple day treks. When I bring people into the mountains with me, I always ask them to tell me what's in the backpack. And sometimes I ask them to show me what's in the backpack. And almost always I can take or suggest to them to take stuff out. In the end, of course, it's up to them what it is that they want to bring with them, but I try to make clear to them what it is that they actually need, what is a luxury and what is it that they definitely don't need. Um, because a backpack is a useful thing, but not always a comfortable thing to be carrying around. Same goes for the second kind of backpack. And that is your um, mental backpack. A mental backpack is similar to the physical backpack in the sense that you can carry too much in it. Um, a mental backpack is filled with expectations, values, um, of course, now I can't think of the, of the third world word. Um, expectations, assumptions, that's the one. Uh, expectations, assumptions, values, all kinds of things. And not necessarily put in there by you. After all, we are confronted with expectations from a very early age. And um, 
our backpacks, our mental backpacks are filled with those expectations and those values and those assumptions also from that very early age, which can slowly but gradually make our mental backpacks really heavy. So when you are feeling dragged down by something and you don't quite know what, when you feel you are carrying a heavy load and you don't quite know what that load is, then perhaps it is time to start unpacking your mental backpack. To start looking at all the expectations, assumptions, values, role, roles is another one, roles that are in there and that you've never really taken out, looked closely at and decided, okay, this is one that I want to carry. This is one that I, that I want to bring along. This one, maybe, maybe I'll carry it a little while longer. And uh, that one, no idea why I'm carrying that. Doesn't belong to me. Don't know how it got in there. Time to leave it by the trail side. So lightening our load, our mental backpack, can make life easier and sometimes a lot easier. Now, it would, have be, it would be nice if we only had to do that once. Just like, a, like our physical backpacks, sometimes things sneak back in or sometimes we, our, our ideas of what needs to be in there change. So it is a good practice to every now and again completely empty the things look for hidden pockets, see what's in what we take out of all those pockets and all those compartments and once again go over it and decide is this what I want to bring along, is this what I want to keep or is it time for me to let go of some stuff. I had one of those days earlier this week I found a hidden pocket in my mental backpack and I didn't even find it by myself. I had to call in some help from uh, a mentor slash friend just to talk through what I found there and how I was going to let go of it because my mental backpack had gotten too heavy or at least too uncomfortable. So it's a process that we have to repeat every now and again, just like with our physical backpacks, every now and again, we have to go through our packs. Look what, what's in there, replace some stuff. That's another thing. If we discover that our backpacks, when we discover that our backpacks are filled with stuff that doesn't belong to us, and we have expectations of ourselves, desires, um, our own values instead of somebody else's and we want to be carrying those along in our lives we may have to make room for that in our mental packs and that means taking stuff out so what is in your mental backpack what are you carrying along If you feel dragged down by whatever it is that's in there, when you feel resentment, anger, annoyance, anxiety, maybe it's time to start looking at that thing that you have on your shoulders and decide, is it all of that that is coming out of there mine? or not. Sit down with a piece of paper, write down everything you're taking out of your mental backpack and decide, is it mine? Do I want to bring it along? Do I need to bring it along? Or do I have to give it back to its rightful owner? Or is it something that I can leave by the wayside? As always, go there greatly. Bye bye.